welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an unbagging. So um, a diamond painting company contacted me and asked if I wanted to review a diamond painting and um, and they didn't really give me a choice of which diamond painting to review but and it's not normally a image I would get myself but sometimes I need variety because otherwise I just end up buying all like flowers or something so um, so that I did get this for free to do a product review, um, but yeah, I, yeah, like I said, this is ordinarily not a diamond painting I would get just because it's outside of my normal, I guess, buying, but it's nice to have the variety. I kind of like the canvas on this one. It, it feels like this will just like, what they call it, lay flat right away. It's not too stiff, but it's not too soft. Oh, yeah, so here it is. Do I need to move you up a little bit? Um, a little bit more. Okay, so here it is. It looks like um, some lips with a hand, and it says, whisper words of wisdom, let it be. So I tend not to get diamond paintings with words because I've seen some completions where you can't tell what it's written, but this actually looks really clear, this whisper words of wisdom. The Let It Be is not as clear, but I think it's because it's multiple colors and it is in cursive and cursive is not the clearest. Um, but yeah, I already kind of see this. I'm thinking I might just use like black ABs for the words because I think that that would be a really easy substitution. Um, but yeah, so it, oh yeah, so the company that sent me this is Coco Will and this was on Amazon. So. I haven't done a diamond painting from Coco Will, so I was like, sure. And you know what? As much as this is not a normal diamond painting I would get, I do really love the colors on this. Um, so I was like, sure, I'll do it. So yeah, this does say it's a, it says it's a 35 by 45 right here, but um, it does say on the listing that it is a 30. Did it say it was a listing? If it was a 30 by 40, let me. Look, I'm looking at the listing now just so that I'm not lying. No, it says it's a 35 by 45, but it says canvas size is 35 by 45. So I'm assuming this is a 30 by 40. So yeah, this is 30 by, it's, it's pretty much 30 by 40. It's a little bit off of 40, but not, but rounded up, it's 40. So yeah, here is the image. Um, I actually think I actually was like from far away it looks like it's a lot of color blocking so um, at least on the background but it does look pretty eh, it's not that bad I think I've done too many really confetti heavy ones that now I'm just like oh it's not that bad but yeah here's the here's the key um, there is 30 colors um, all it looks like all letters and numbers and there's a pound sign um, and it's just a percentage sign. I don't know if that percentage sign will show up really well. It looks pretty dark here. So, yeah, but I mean, this one is white, but yeah, let's see if I can see, the, let's see how clear everything is. Yeah, so the percentage sign, you could see it on camera, but it's not, it doesn't have the big contrast that you normally would want. Um, but I could read it, and I don't think anything else looks like that color, right? So I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with without using a light pad on this, because yeah, I, I I've said multiple times I don't use light pads, um, and I don't think any diamond painting company should print their their canvas, assuming people have light pads, because what if you're a beginner? You don't have that light pad yet. I mean, I don't think I ordered the light pad. No, I think I ordered a light pad probably within the fourth um, diamond painting, but I've stopped, I've since stopped using it. But I, I do have one too, in case. But yeah, no, this looks relatively clear. And I think, I especially am really happy with with the, the, the words because I think lots of times diamond paintings, you can't read the words. I'm not sure about this. I don't know. I might... There's a lot of colors in it. I guess I'll see what it looks like when it's done. Maybe it'll be much brighter when it's done. But yeah, 
Um, since this is for review, I'm going to actually do this soon, and the completion will actually be attached to this video, so watch it. Keep watching. Hello! So, you should have just seen the unboxing, so um, it, the finish is below me, so yeah, this is um, a diamond painting from Coco Will on Amazon. Um, I called it Whispered Words of Wisdom. It was sent to me as a product review, but the original price is $15.99. Um, it is advertised as the 35 by 45, but it's actually the drill area is 30 by 40. The canvas had poured glue with round drills, and there were DMCs, and there were 30 numbers, 30 numbers, 30 colors and all. So this took me two days to complete. Um, I'm actually surprised I did it as quickly. So my main comments were the 310 had some trash where, well, you know, most diamond paintings have trashy 310s, and one symbol, the percent sign, was hard to read. So it is already covered, but there's the percent sign. It's number 17. It's it's like a dark blue with a dark black um, symbol. So it was hard to read, but nothing like looked like it. So it was obvious it was the percent just because nothing else was like it. So yeah, here it is. Isn't it pretty? I actually think I was actually surprised how well this turned out, um, considering it is only a 30 by 40. Um, and you could read the lettering close up. It's a little bit like pixelated, the lettering here. But from far away, it's actually pretty obvious what it says. Um, I do kind of wish this was a lighter color just because it does kind of blend in. Just this letter. Everything else, um, I think, had a good enough like color that it was easy to read. And what I really liked is they must have hand charted the words here because it looks exactly like the words like it's i mean it i mean it looks like you know kind of more like a a font where it's kind of like a dot pixel kind of font but still it totally you could read it it says whisper words of wisdom so i like that because lots of times i don't buy diamond paintings with words because yeah i've seen some where you're just like there are words there you can't even read it but this one i did really like that they must have hand charted the words here because it looks really good. And other than, I mean, it's a round, like you don't really have any problems with rounds. I didn't run any, out of any drills. Um, oh, I did. I So these were originally supposed to be 310, the words, but I did end up replacing them with these um, AB drills. Like these are diamond dot drills. Um, so yeah, I just got I just replaced them with black AB drills. So um, I'm not sure if you could see that. So it's not originally with the black AB drills, but I just thought that it would be a really easy like just you know make it your own change. So yeah, no, I I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. So um, yeah, I I had plenty of drills left. Um, the colors of this were really really good. Um, but yeah, other than the black, where, you know, you always find some trashy drills in there, um, I thought it turned out good, and you can see it from here. So, yeah. Um, so, I am just going to cut this out and put it in my portfolio book. You should have... I am... I am, what's it called? Just going... I'm just... Add, I just added this video to the end of the... Um, unboxing because when you only unbox one diamond painting it doesn't take that long so yeah it just seems kind of too short to leave as one video as a video um so and why i usually combine the single diamond painting unboxings unless it's a big one um with the completion. So yeah, I'm just cutting this out so I could put it in my portfolio book. Um, I am try someone, I don't remember who, I'm sorry. Someone commented on on one of my videos and set, suggested that I cut the edges at a angle um, to make it easier to cut because you know, it's sticky. Um, 
So that's what I'm kind of doing right now. I'm not sure if I'm cutting it at an angle, but it does seem to not be picking up the stickiness of the, on the edges. Um, so maybe that is how you're supposed to do, cut it at an angle, if I am cutting at an angle. Um, so yeah, I thank everyone for giving me comments, because you know what? And suggestions, because I don't know everything. Um, and we all collectively have tons of diamond painting experience, so we could all learn from each other. Okay. I'm pondering whether to keep including these, like me putting it into my portfolio book, into the completions because you know you only need to see it every so often but i'm also such a small-ish youtuber that people are still like finding me so i have a lot of new viewers so i don't want to like assume that people have watched my old video so that's why i keep still doing it oh oh i was like something fell it was my scissors oh my scissors might have broken I might have to fix that as long as it still keeps cutting. I did buy my scissors from the Dollar Tree, so yeah, they they have worked for a long time, at least enough, I think, for the dollar to be worth it. I was like, wow, that's a big drill that fell. <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't assume that people have watched all my videos, so I do just keep repeating similar things, even if I had done it previously, because I make an assumption that everyone who's watching, well, people who are watching may not be um, previous watchers, and, and if you're new, thank you for watching. Um, I... It's always great to have new viewers. Um, and if you're a returning first viewer, well, thank you for returning because I'm glad to know that you liked my content enough to keep watching. So also uh, right now I'm just cutting out one of the, what do you call these? The, the keys because I do put it into my diamond painting journal. Um, man, where's my double-sided tape? I had it out before for something else. Okay, so I got my double-sided tape. Okay, so I'm just going to, to tape this onto my journal because, you know, in case I ever look back at this, and find out that I'm missing a drill, I have this in here. And plus, it's a souvenir. I mean, I'm already documenting all this other stuff, so I'm just gonna throw this away anyway, so might as well put it into my journal. Okay. So yeah, I just put some double-sided tape. I've actually tried just gluing it, but um, the glue doesn't seem to like canvas, or maybe I'm just not using the right glue. Um, so I've been putting the double-sided tape on the back to put it onto my portfolio. And then eventually I'll put the finished picture here. Just haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah. So now it'll just go into my art portfolio. Um, I do put everything that I'm not framing into an art portfolio, assuming it fits into one of them. I do have a bigger one. This is my smaller one that I keep my 30 by 40s and below um, in. But yeah, I'll, everything should be linked below. So if you want to get yourself one of these, it should be below. But 
it is a tight fit for 30 by 40s so but it is great for the ones that are like the 25 by 35s what i like to call the fake 30 by 40s but this one is a real 30 by 40 so i did like that there was an amazon listing for 30 by 40 like a real 30 by 40 but yeah there it is all right thank you for watching and happy diamond painting bye